Hi everyone from the Inspiring Girl community. I am Xin Yi. So I am a service specialist from Salesforce. So as a solution engineer or pre-sales, what I do basically is about helping my customers to solve their problems with Salesforce solutions and helping them imagine the out of the possible. I would say it's really hard to say because I would say my job scope is so diverse. So on one day, I could be having conversations with my customers, helping them to look into their business problems and thinking of how we can co-create together an optimized way of their processes of their business. But then on the other day, I could also be looking into creating industrial assets where I actually come up with the sales source point of view regarding how our solutions can help different industries. I could also be giving back to the community since this is a really important thing in Salesforce itself. So during my times, what I would love to do is do pro bono projects for non-profit organizations where I look into how Salesforce technologies can be helped them to amplify their impacts through helping them improve their processes but on some other times as well i could be partnering with different organizations such as inspiring girls regarding how we can bring younger generations into the technology sectors i actually study industrial and system engineering so from this particular course, uh, the general career path is that we will end up being a process engineer at a company looking into how we can optimize the process. So that is more of a back-end engineering job. But what I'm currently doing right now is actually kind of like a tech sales where I have to be in front of the customers and interacting with the customer on a regular basis. So coming from a back-end engineering to a tech sales job, what I would say that the commonality here is I always have the curiosity when it comes to learning about my customers' processes in detail and learning about how technology can be used to empower them. It's really about the diversity in the experience that I can get. The thing is, none of my two days can be the same to each other. Every day I will have something new coming up, I will have some exciting elements and even if I could be doing customer engagements from one day one to day two to day three, but I will be meeting different customers, helping them solve different problems. So this ability of always continuously learning and having the opportunity to push myself to learn is something else that I really, really love about my job as well. So what I really encourage everyone to do is no matter how junior you are, no matter whether you're just starting out or where you're just actually early into the careers, always feel free to just voice out your opinions. And even if that could be wrong, it's a good learning lesson. And then you share your perspective so that other people can better guide you. And what's even better is that, what if you actually do bring a new perspective to the tables? And that is something that is really generally appreciated by the teams when it comes to the diversity in experience as well. So recently, I wrote, uh, read the book uh, Becoming for Michelle Obama. She stood out to me as a really strong fem female character who advocates for what she wants, who goes after what she wants openly and briefly as well. So that really inspires me to be more open, more vocal about my own achievements, about more of more open about my own wants as well. But what she really stood out to me is as someone who's actually able to have it all as long as. We are willing to adapt, we are willing to push ourselves to grow and then that's just how we become better and how we can end up having everything that we want to achieve. So it's important to dream big and also take care of ourselves while we are having the balance of it all.